girls, I got a question. Do you think snow tastes more like sugar or salt? Um, neither. But rain tastes like water. That's because rain is water. Snow is actually frozen rain. Wait, but isn't frozen rain ice? Yes, but so is snow. Well then, if frozen rain is ice, and snow is frozen rain, why do you think snow tastes like sugar? It doesn't taste like sugar. Okay, well then that answers my question. It tastes like salt. <laughs> so here's what happens when it snows. Snow is created when water vapor travels from the ground level of Earth's atmosphere to form in clouds all year long, no matter how hot or cold it may be. You see, when the Earth's surface and the atmosphere are both cold, that water vapor turns into tiny little ice crystals. But it doesn't stop there because then the tiny ice crystals gather in teeny pieces of dirt that are also floating in the atmosphere. And sometimes there are as many as 200 ice crystals that get clumped together to make just one single snowflake. Wow. So that was a lot to think about. So you might still be asking, but wait, what are snowflakes really made of? Like we just said, snowflakes are actually made of tiny ice crystals that begin from tiny pieces of dirt in the air. Dirt? Snowflakes taste like dirt? Makes no, me... it doesn't taste like dirt, it guys. No it makes no <laughs> sense. It makes no sense. The ice crystals can stay up in the clouds, or if they are heavy enough, they will then fall to the ground. But in order for it to actually snow, the temperature must be below 32 degrees. Hmm. Now, you may have heard that no two snowflakes are the same exact shape. That is because the way the ice crystals join together gives every snowflake its own unique design. And even though they all look different, most snowflakes have six points or six sides. Snowflakes actually form seven basic shapes. They are stars, needles, dendrites, which means they have branches, also plates, columns, columns topped with plates, and irregular snowflakes, which means they're damaged. The shape of a snowflake happens based on the temperature and the amount of moisture in the cloud that it started in. Hey, guess what? Did you know that snow is one of the six main types of precipitation? Lake effect snow happens when a cold air mass moves across a large body of warm water that is not frozen. The water vapor from the warmer lake is sucked up into the cold air mass and then it freezes and then falls back down as snow. Have you ever heard snow called powder or powdery snow? This is when the snow is light and fluffy. Hey, guess what? Did you know that snow is not really white? What? Snow actually doesn't have any color. What? What? It looks white to me! It does! Keep watching and we'll find out. I hope so. Get your dad to tell us. Snow actually looks white because of the reflection from the sun, even when there is no sun shining. So why do some places get more snow than others? Some places get more snow because the air is colder for longer periods of time. There is also more water vapor in the air than there is in other places too. We all know that snow is fun to play in, but what does snow do for us? It's not just about making snowmen, building forts, and having snowball fights. That's right, Cadence. 
Believe it or not, snow waters the ground during the winter like rain does in the spring or summer. And snow also makes it possible for animals like polar bears, some penguins, and other arctic animals to survive. When we have a really heavy snowfall, that's called a snowstorm. Billions of snowflakes fall during every single snowstorm. And usually there are about a hundred snowstorms every year that happen in the United States. And heavy snowfalls that also have winds that blow over 35 miles per hour, those are called blizzards. Did you know that sometimes there are thunderstorms that happen in the winter? And this is called thunder snow. Thunder snow. Thunder snow. Is a snowstorm that actually has thunder, lightning, and very strong winds. Thunder lightning? Do you mean thunder and lightning? Thunder and lightning. Oh, well you said thunder lightning. That sounds like a heavy metal man. <laughs> hey, guess what? Did you know that almost 80% of the world's fresh water comes from snow and ice? Here are a few other cool facts that happen because of snow. The largest snowman ever built was built in Maine in the year 2008. It was 122 feet tall. On March 5th in 2015, 101 inches of snow fell in Kipricotta, Italy. This was the record anywhere for a 24 hour period. Wow, that's a lot of snow in 24 hours. But the record for the most snowfall in one year goes to Mount Rainier in the state of Washington, located in the United States of America. Between 1971 to 1972, 102 feet of snow fell in a 365-day period. And ready for our last fact of this video? This one is crazy. The world's largest snowflake was 15 inches wide and it was 8 inches thick. That is a huge snowflake. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about snow. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye. I wonder what snow tastes like. Does anything taste like dirt? I guess we're never. <laughs>